Hello, welcome to another build, um, or video, whatever. I don't have an intro. Anyways, we're in Glimmerbrook today, so I did finally get, um, Realm of Magic, and I made a house right away instead of waiting, like, a week to make one, like I normally do. <laughs> but yeah, I, it, this one <laughs> kind of felt urgent in a way, um, if any of you have kept up with the drama of the Sims right now, um, you would know that there's been a, a bit of uproar over the most recent updates and this pack. Um, it People aren't that happy. <laughs> and it's just because things feel a little unfinished. Things feel like they could have been better had the Sims team given themselves a bit more time. Um, and truly considered what their consumers would like to see. And yeah, so I don't necessarily want to dive too much into that because I think there's a lot of other people who have said enough about it. Um, and I do hope, the only thing that I'll say really is that I do hope that the Sims team, that EA listens and that they consider their consumers consider their fans sims is one of those games where people have played it for the majority of their life you know that's something that can't just be like ignored <laughs> like yeah there's new players i have a friend that i work with who um just started playing the sims and you know she's my age <laughs> and she just never got into it before then so there are some people who are new to the game and they don't know all of the drama with it. They don't care. They don't know about, you know, what we used to have and um, whatever. But the people who have been there for like 10 plus years, mm, this is, it feels a little short. It feels like, you know, we got, we didn't get exactly what we thought we were, go we were going to be getting. Um, the, and I'm mainly talking about the fact that the, style of this world, the houses that came with the game, um, are awful. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to completely remake every building that came with the pack. You know what I mean? That like, every building in this world that is, that comes with it, that comes with the game sucks. Like they're ugly. And I don't know what style they were going for because clearly all of the build mode items that we got that are new, they're Art Nouveau. Um, those windows, those stained glass windows, those giant circular windows, the furniture, the wallpaper, all of that is very Art Nouveau style. And Art Nouveau is inspired by nature. It's inspired by organic forms. And that's why you see a lot of floral, a lot of um, curving wood and stuff like that. Um, it was. It's an old popular style from the from Europe. I'm not, I don't remember the exact timeline, but it's old. And I think it might've been 1800s into early 1900s. I might be wrong, but I think that was when it was popular. Cause I'm trying to think of Alphonse Mucha and I know he was late 1800s, early 1900s. And Alphonse Mucha is a Art Nouveau artist who I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so I love Art Nouveau. When I saw the items that were coming with this pack, I got really excited because I love Art Nouveau. Um, it's one of those styles that is really difficult to build because there's so much natural shapes. There's so many curves and um, there's so many details and everything that it's really difficult to build a truly Art Nouveau house. So I don't think I'll be trying to do that, but definitely incorporating some of the aspects, some of the items that came with this pack that is in my future for sure. But, um, the buildings that the Sims team made that are included in this, like the house that was here and the houses that are in the rest of the neighborhood, they are not really Art Nouveau. Um, so I don't, quite get it. Like the roofs and everything being the shape that they made, I don't really understand it. I don't know what they were going for. And I just wish in my, you know, <laughs> heart of hearts, like the ultimate wish that I could have for the Sims is that they freaking hire somebody who knows architecture, who knows 
building styles, who knows the game and how to use the builds or use the different um, items and make something that looks like it actually exists in the real world. Because, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of people who come into The Sims and expect The Sims team to create an entirely new style that they're going to love. You know what I mean? Like, nobody, as far as I've seen, and I follow a lot of people on Twitter <laughs> who play The Sims, um, a lot of people that, you know, are popular here on Inst- or on oh my god, we're not on Instagram, what the hell, (laughs) people on YouTube and stuff, and nobody likes the style, nobody likes what the Sims team did, so I don't really get how that got okayed, but, um, I just wish that they would actually do some research, or they would hire somebody who knows building styles, and can create them effectively, Like, I get you don't have to put a bajillion different objects in there. I get that. But you can still make a nice looking house. Like, everybody can load the house. You know what I mean? This house in particular that I made, not to toot my own horn. But if you took out the objects, if you took out all the decorative crap, you know, this could have come, you know, change the wallpaper and stuff for things that aren't part of uh, Realm of Magic and aren't part of base game. But it could still look relatively the same. So it's just kind of weird. It's a weird thing. It's, and I don't get it. And I really hope that they start listening to people and um, considering the fact that we don't want whatever it is that they're making. <laughs> like those houses are just bad. You know, it's like the get famous one all over again. It's just what style are these? I don't, I don't get it. So I just decided I was going to remake everything that they put in this world, so I started with the smallest house, um, mainly because I didn't have a lot of time, so I just wanted to see, you know, what could I make, and I very quickly fell into this cottage style, and it's partly because maybe I'm thinking of Harry Potter, (laughs) I mean, who isn't with this pack, but, um, I'm just, I'm sort of thinking of that old, old English cottage style. And, you know, you think of like the English countryside and that sort of stuff. And I know we have another pack where we got a world like that. And believe me, I've made my fair share of cottages for that world. But I just felt like this fit better with the items, with the style that they were going for with this world. Um... And so I'm probably going to make the rest of the buildings kind of in a similar vein, just because I want it to feel like it is a style. I want it to feel like, you know, this place has existed and they've just got this old sort of kooky style in a way that's very unique to them. But at the same time, it is realistic and it is livable (laughs) and, um, is pretty. (laughs) That is, like, for me, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, and so I definitely have to go in and change all those buildings that they gave us. But other than that, the pack as a whole, um, I'm excited to play with because I've never had one of the magic packs in the previous games. I just never got them. I don't know why. Like, I don't even remember if Sims 1 had one but sims 1 I didn't play a lot of I had like two packs for that I had like vacation and unleashed the pets one and that was it (laughs) so I didn't play that one like once sims 2 came out that was all I played or like once I found out about sims 2 that's all I played um because I was in I was like god how old was I I think I was when was I born right okay I was like 10 (laughs) I forgot when I was born but I was like 10 when um Sims 2 came out so I think I didn't start playing it till I was probably 11 or 12 but um after I discovered Sims 2 that was all I played but even with that I didn't have the magic one I didn't have a lot of packs for that game either Like, I had kind of the main ones that you had to have, but I didn't have all the, like, fun ones, like the, um, island one and the 
future one. See, I don't even know the names of them because I didn't have them. <laughs> and then with Sims 3, my computer could never really play it that well, so I didn't have a lot of packs for that either. And now that I am an adult who has a job, <laughs> I can finally live my dreams of being a witch in The Sims. And I actually really love like everything else about this pack. I really love how they did it. Um, the whole spell thing is totally like new and different for me so I just started exploring that and it's like I feel like I have something to learn which is really fun for the sims like not knowing how to do something is so rare <laughs> in the sims that it's really fun to just have a new experience so I hope I have heard a few people say that it's kind of short-lived and it gets boring after a while I really hope that's not the case for me um I hope I can, you know, make a full-fledged story enough for my sim that I feel like I can keep playing it for a while. But yeah, I'm really excited to play with it. Um, pretty much done with this, you know, once I start doing landscaping that it's going to be over pretty soon. Um, and I'll go into screenshots in a second. But yeah, I didn't do much with the outside here. It's kind of like, meh, whatever. You know, she's going to... I made the sim in here a loner anyway, so it's like she's not going to be doing much outside. Whatever. Um... And then this house is definitely way more expensive than the one that was originally here. And I'm sorry for that. I wanted to decorate it, so that's why. You know, if you go through and you delete a lot of the decorations and stuff, it'll be cheaper again. It's like 40000 45000 I think. So, apologies for that. I know people are always like, eh, I wish it were cheaper, or I wish it were a starter home, or I wish it had base game only and I'm sorry I just can't do base game I'm really sorry <laughs> anyways here's the screenshots um my game happened to be in like a fall time so it looked really pretty but yeah okay thanks for watching um if you like it please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and leave me a comment if you want to I can't force you but yeah okay bye <laughs>